if you have the opportunity to play this game. Of life you need to appreciate every moment. A lot of people don't appreciate the moment. Until it's past. Would you believe in what you believe in if you were the only one? Who believed it? Keep your nose out the sky, keep your heart to God, and keep your face to the raising sun. I'm a human being, I've got opinions, I'm not always right, I'm not always on time, I don't always say things in the proper way, but my intentions are always extremely pure. I refuse to accept other people's ideas of happiness for me, as if there's a one-size-fits-all standard for happiness. For me, money is not my definition of success. Inspiring people is a definition of success. Here's something that's contrary to popular belief. I actually don't like thinking. I think people think I like to think a lot, and I don't. I do not like to think at all. I'm not always going to say things the perfect way, the right way, but I'm going to say how I feel. Know your worth. People always act like they're doing more for you than you're doing for them. The risk for me would be in not taking one. That's the only thing that's really risky for me. My message isn't perfectly defined. I have, as a human being, fallen to peer pressure. I'll say things that are serious and put them in a joke form so people can enjoy them. We laugh to keep from crying. Creative output, you know, is just pain. I'm going to be cliche for a minute and say that great art comes from pain. Sometimes we be playing the politics too much and forget who we are just to win. I'm giving all that I have in this life. I'm opening up my notebook and I'm saying everything in there out loud. I'm inspired by Walt Disney. I'm inspired by Howard Hughes. I'm inspired by Henry Ford. I'm inspired by Steve Jobs. I mean I'm inspired by James Peirce. I love being American, and I love family. I love having a family. And I feel so blessed, and I feel like God gave me exactly what I wanted. So now, I have to do the right thing in God's eyes also. Just follow what God wants me to do. I am God's vessel, but my greatest pain in life is that I will never be able to see myself perform live. I liberate minds with my music. That's more important than liberating a few people from apartheid or whatever. I will go down as the voice of this generation, of this decade. I will be the loudest voice. I just want people to be the best thems and live the happiest lives possible. We're a blip in the existence of the universe, and we're constantly trying to pull each other down, not doing things to help each other. Our focus needs to be less on what our legacy is going to be, or how we can control each other, and more how we can give to each other. You don't have to be scared of me because I am loyal. Why are people so scared of creative ideas and so scared of truth? All I want to do is do good. I don't think people are going to talk in the future. They're going to communicate through eye contact, body language, emojis, signs. I used to have insecurity about my finances. Then I announced that I had debt, and now I don't have any insecurities. People always say that you can't please everybody. I think that's a cop-out. Why not attempt it? Because 
Think of all the people you will please if you try. I know how to swim through backlash. I can tread water through backlash if anything. That's all giving me power. Every time I say something that's extremely truthful out loud, it literally breaks the internet. If we go on your iPhone and go to the dictionary and look up Hummel, 80% of the definition is negative. It's a controlling word. It's a way to control the masses and to control the sheep. If I was just a fan of music, I would think that I was the number one artist in the world. The dinosaurs aren't remembered for much more than their bones. When humanity's gone, what do we give to this little planet that we're on? And what could we do collectively, removing the pride? I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. If you see a white family, it says they're looking for food. My goal is just to be respected as a man when I walk down the street with my family. I don't care what your job is. You're not going to talk down to me. You're not going to try to get a rise out of me. I'm a man first, and in establishing that, some interesting things have happened. I thank Mark Jacobs so much for giving me the opportunity to design a shoe for Louis Vuitton. But the thing that broke my heart most was when they said, You're finished, the shoe's finished. Why? If someone is good in one field, can they not be accepted or given the slightest opportunity to express and be creative in other fields? I'm here to fight for the re-education of what? Celebrities to say, yes, we are celebrities, but yes, we're also innovators. We're also inventors. We're also thoughtful. I'm a trained fine artist. I went to art school from the time I was five years old. I was like a prodigy out of Chicago. I've been in national competitions from the age of 14. But for me to have the opportunity to stand in front of a bunch of executives and present myself, I had to hustle in my own way. I can't tell you how frustrating it was that they didn't get that. No joke, I'd leave meetings crying all the time. It's funny because I've made a living off of words, but words get in the way of what you really want to say. There was a time Michael Jackson couldn't get his video on MTV because he was considered to be urban, the Michael Jackson. So, I literally have to be the Michael Jackson of apparel in order to break down the doors for everyone who will come after I'm gone, after I'm dead. Thirty-three years old, still creating art, it's rage, it's creativity, it's pain, it's hurt but it's the opportunity to still have my voice get out there through music. I'm pretty calculating. I take stuff that I know appeals to people's bad sides and match it up with stuff that appeals to their good sides. Blacks, especially in America, have been raised with a slave mentality. They don't feel that they have the right to speak as loud as possible. People have me pinned as a shark or a predator in some way. And in no way am I that. I wouldn't want to hurt anyone. I want to defend people. I want to help people. I'm really bad with answering questions. Usually, I don't even answer them. I try to find inspiration inside of the question. I think, and I jump from one beam of inspiration or energy to the next, as opposed to explaining the energy. I dislike the concept of chic being the highest, 
Compliment for a human being. I'd rather someone be nice than to be chic.